Hello, my name is Renee Connor. I'm a Grand Canyon University nursing graduate student, and I will be graduating May 1st with the ground cohort from Phoenix Children's Hospital, where I'm a manager of the hematology, oncology, nephrology, bone marrow transplant floor. My journey with my graduate education started when there was a table set up down in the lobby and they were passing out information on enrollment and I talked it over with a colleague and she just encouraged me to go for it and I applied and the next thing I know is in my first class. So I can tell you why I picked Grand Canyon University. Part of it was that we have this phenomenal um, director of professional development who had established the program and gave us this opportunity and she herself is you know a role model for professional advancement and they were able to work at a time for us to meet around our work schedules because all of us work full-time and so they really made it possible to work full-time and go to school full-time and I couldn't imagine having done it entirely online because that face-to-face -face time was really invaluable so I highly recommend Grand Canyon University's ground cohort online coursework perfect for people who are working full-time. We did have one professor who really beat APA into us <laughs> and I have to thank her <laughs> because although painful at the time um, it certainly made the rest of the studies easier and all of the professors afterwards said that we did a great job writing papers. So it's really hard to say uh, who's most excited about me graduating. I have um, very blessed. I have my fiance's family is all here in Arizona and my family's in New York so they'll be flying out to meet for the graduation weekend. In terms of support, I've had tremendous support from all of my friends and family and I thank them very much, particularly my fiance Todd who has really in a way deserves an honorary degree. He has listened to me give my presentations, he's read my PowerPoints, my papers, and given me suggestions, not to mention helping cook dinner and picking up the slack so that I could work full-time and go to school full-time. So for that I'm incredibly grateful and I thank him. I talk a little bit about it in my speech that um, wanting to take that deeper sense of purpose that I'm sure all of us carry within ourselves and really make a difference, do something with it instead of just feeling it. And so that certainly comes through in the work that I do at the hospital. I feel very called to the work that I do there and I'm just so proud of all of the work that we do as a big team. It takes all of us to do it. And so we have challenges ahead of us. Um, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. My mother's a nurse. She's been a nurse now for over 30 years. And when I told her I planned on being a pediatric nurse, she really cautioned me and thought it would be so sad. And I just knew it was the right thing, and she supported me. And what I find amazing about working with families is that no matter what they face, no matter how dire their circumstances, the power of their love always trumps everything. And I think that I get so much more back from the families that I work with than I've ever been able to contribute in the terms of the work that I do. So it definitely uh, keeps your feet on the ground and reminds you of what's important and it's very powerful.